Okay, here's a quick video to show you how to load the Pilot Wave Quick Start presets for your MIDI pedal. We've created Quick Start presets for a number of popular MIDI pedals, and a lot more are on the way. The pedals we've created presets for are listed in the description below. Now you can still use Pilot Wave with any MIDI enabled pedal. You'll just have to create the presets on your own if they're not in our list. If you want to learn how to do that, be sure to watch our Creating a Preset in depth video. There's a link to that in the description as well. So to use the Quick Start page, the first thing you need to do is open Google Chrome. If you don't already have Chrome installed, it's a free download from Google. So you open up Google Chrome and then navigate to stepaudio.net. Once you're there, click on the Support tab and then click on Pilot Wave Quick Start. Once you're there, we just need to follow the instructions. So scroll down a little. And you'll see, first it says Pilot Wave comes with a USB MIDI device. And it does, so you need to connect that USB MIDI device to your computer. And then connect the device's output connector, it says outright on it, to the MIDI in jack on Pilot Wave. If this is the first time you're using our Quick Start page, you'll need to reload the page. You go up and you click the little circular arrow here, reload the page, and then it's going to say Step Audio wants to use your MIDI devices be sure to click Allow. And then your MIDI interface should appear under number four here. If your MIDI interface doesn't appear there, you'll need to follow the instructions on number three here and go into Chrome and enable MIDI devices. It only takes a second. And your MIDI device should appear there. The next thing you wanna do is select your brand. Today we have the Strymon Riverside Distortion Pedal, so we're gonna load the 16 presets for that onto Pilot Wave. So you select the brand, in this case Strymon, and then you just click on your pedal. Now if you don't see your particular pedal, we haven't created the 16 presets for it yet, but you can still use our baseline programmer to create a starting point for most other devices, and our preset programmer to create pilot wave sequences for any MIDI device. So we're going to click on the Riverside on the left here. Now with MIDI devices, they need to be on a particular channel. For the pedals we've made quick start presets, we provide instructions on how to set your device to the right MIDI channel. Some pedals also require a few other tweaks, so if that's the case, we provide instructions and sometimes a video for that. In fact, we include a video for the Riverside that shows you how to set it up to work with MIDI. Next, you want to take the correct MIDI cable and connect it from Pilot Wave's out jack to the MIDI in jack on your pedal. In this case, we're going to be using the red cable, which is the one for Strymon and Maris, Empress, and a number of other pedals. And we'll connect it to the out on Pilot Wave and the in on the Riverside. Next, we're gonna send the baseline preset to the Riverside. Now, the reason we use a baseline preset is so that the pedal's already at a setting we like, and then we just sequence the parameters that make the coolest sounds. Now, different pedals have different ways of storing their presets, and again, we provide instructions on how to do it for any particular pedal. In this case, we're gonna follow the instructions for the Riverside. First, we'll take a listen to how the Riverside sounds now. And then we're going to click the button and send the baseline preset data to the Riverside. Now listen and you'll hear how it's changed. We're going to store the baseline preset at preset number 4 on the Riverside. And we use preset 4 for all the pedals that we create quick start presets. That way it's easy to remember. So first, Press and hold down the favorite button until the LED turns blue. And then press this button to send MIDI program change number four on channel three. And then the LED flashes to let you know you saved the baseline preset. Finally, we're gonna load the 16 presets for the Riverside onto Pilot Wave. We've already connected Pilot Wave to our computer. So all we have to do is hit the button that says load Pilot Wave with 16 presets. Now as this happens, each time a preset's loaded, you'll see a smile of LEDs on Pilot Wave, and you'll see the counter on the page here go from 0 to 16. Be sure not to unplug it or power anything off while this is happening. Once it's done, Pilot Wave is ready to go. Just unplug your USB MIDI device, and you can start enjoying your presets. There's also a link for a PDF that describes all the presets, 
and a video that shows how each of them sound. On the MIDI resources page, we provide links to the individual presets, so if you want to load them into our preset programmer and start modifying them, it's quick and easy to do. So there you have it. That's how you get up and running with Pilot Wave and one of the pedals for which we've created 16 quick start presets. There's lots more information and videos over at stepaudio.net.